James wanted to find out more about the effects cigarettes have on the smokers themselves. Joyce Smith has been smoking since she was 16. Until five years ago, she was on between 20 and 30 cigarettes a day. Hi. Hello, James. Come in. Joyce has a smoking-related disease called emphysema. It means she has difficulty breathing. She can't even make it to her front door and back without getting out of breath. Oxygen helps get her breathing back to normal. Do you have to keep oxygen near you wherever you go? Well, only when I'm really sort of bad. Um, but it's... Um... I have to keep oxygen in the house all the time. And I have, I keep one in here, look. And there's one in the bedroom. And I have this wonderful, long, wandering lead when I'm at home. So that when I'm sort of really bad, I can sort of go to the loo or walk all around the house. And um, I don't get into difficulty. Why did you start smoking? Well, I started smoking when I was about uh, 16. And I didn't like it. <laughs> really, the only reason I started was because everybody else did. The problem is that over many years, the cigarette smoke has damaged the most delicate part of Joyce's airways. At the end of each airway, there are tiny air sacs. Each air sac is made up of hollow bubbles called alveoli. Millions of alveoli give the lungs the big surface area they need for oxygen and carbon dioxide to pass in and out. But smoking causes the delicate walls of the alveoli to break down. This reduces the surface area, so the sufferer gets easily short of breath. Joyce can no longer do the things she once took for granted, like unloading the washing machine. Just doing that, really, as you can see, makes me really very breathless. And when you think that when you're normal, you just never even think about it. It's those sorts of differences that really bring it home to you.